You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! She helped us out in the shadows. Come. Jahira! Through the grapevine? Kindness is too often a decoy. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. who protected the Emerald Grove. Yup. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet too. I'd pretty much trust her with my life. A true soul with a mind of her own? How is that possible? in the hands is that thing. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. THE Jahira. Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a baal sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Not the cheeriest of inns, this place. But I suppose the mortal peril lurking just past the firelight is liable to put a dampener on the mood. Everything, potentially. 
There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Gods! I never thought I'd be so relieved to find a light in the darkness, or to see so many harpers clanking about. Aha! Uh -huh. Thought I sensed an infernal. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I reckon. Trying to stay out of the shadows. Hold on! I know you! The weaponsmith, right? Drafted into the Blood War when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Well done making it out alive. Same to you. Though unless my senses deceive me, you brought a bit of the Hells back with you. Infernal Engine? Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out of piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Please do. I've been dying to find an infernal mechanic. Now that's hot. Too hot. I think I could sort you out, but I'll need some infernal iron and a lot of luck. Hey, soldier, we've got some infernal iron already. Let's give it to him, eh? Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Let me sleep on it. I just might be able to work something out. Hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. I'll need more infernal iron either way, though. So keep your eyes open. Take care. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've 
ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze. Begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Oh, you're all right, thank goodness. I was worried they'd got you too. I keep replaying it. Over and over in my head. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids. Telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first. Then his tongue. Roland, of all people, saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. And I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Yes. He shielded me and the kids while his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? You're made of sterner stuff than me, then. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Cute. Maybe she'll write a ballad about me. She can leave out the part where my brother and sister were dragged away screaming while I was saving the orphans. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. Dead for all I know. Or in the cult's tower with the others who were taken. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass, Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. If this is about Roland, go away! He acts like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. And now we're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. Yeah. He did save us, after all. Anyway, it's his loss. I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. Hmm. Maybe. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye-bye.
I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then either. Your move, Maul. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Shambles. Brava! Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. She cheated, of course, but that's half her charm. My favorite kind, ambition. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying, she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a... proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old... well... A long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm... You haven't told them? And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. How unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. God damn it. Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Now you know. I... Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps I should have. I'm not exactly used to asking for help and being met with, well... <laughs> help. But what's done is done, so how about we stop talking about it and just get on with things? Although I... I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> Wonder if Jahira ever hangs around the outer city. Maybe after this is over, I could buy her a drink. Does she drink? She likes wine. Wine then. <laughs> this is all happening so fast. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, 
Frosty Pints. Hiss! I say hiss! And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is my territory, and you're in it. Mmm, I'll allow it. I slinked, of course. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. We believe the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you found a way in. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. He is no lord. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. No, but they always seem to get it, don't they? Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. With a single word, Floric could charge the coast's most powerful force with taking back the Grand Duke. We ought to be doing just that, not babysitting this stump. And yet, Orders are orders. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Nathaniel and me Climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We... We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. 
He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. A century locked inside a Shah and Curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who want to be seeing you. Oh, if you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. patient is physically well, but psychologically detached, dissociated from himself. He's been in the Shadowfell. All memories will have been stripped away. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. If he does, he isn't sane. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a Maw Demon in two hits. Bam, bam, we were all like, whoa! How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Premium tr Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. This is a <clears throat> valuable piece, so it's going to cost a lot. And that is non neg. non. The price isn't changing. Yes! That's my first negotiation. Here, pleasure doing business with you. <laughs>